Chers diplômés, distingués invités, mesdames et messieurs, parents et amis, bonjour et welcome. My name is Anne-Marie Croteau, and I am the newly appointed dean of the Donaldson School of Business, la toute première femme à occuper ce poste. Merci. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to this special ceremony. For you, our graduates, Convocation is a time to celebrate important achievements and to reflect upon the future. JMSB is one of the largest business schools in North America, and it is your school. As JMSD graduates, you are now part of a network of more than 51,000 alumni, alumni that strengthens the Concordia community. As business leaders, you will be faced with many responsibilities and challenges, and you will have to make many difficult decisions. I trust that in those moments, you will be guided by the same values of humility, intellectual curiosity, and altruism that guide us as business school. On behalf of the JMSB community, I wish you all the very best. We are very proud of you. Be proud too. Félicitations à chacun et chacune de nos nouveaux diplômés. Now, would everyone please join Mrs. Colleen Bartley, mezzo-soprano, in the singing of O Canada. Good morning. Congratulations. Félicitations. You have followed your dreams, achieved your goals, and here you are as graduates amongst us. So let us celebrate you. Faites votre réussite et l'obtention de vos diplômes. And let us also take a moment to reflect. For what you get by achieving your goals is not as important as what you become by achieving them. Ce que vous êtes en voie de devenir compte beaucoup plus que toutes vos réussites. You have studied and gained knowledge, written tests and papers and pursued the goals which have led you to today. And as you studied, you have also evolved and changed, become better friends, deeper thinkers, dreamers and schemers. Comme étudiante et étudiant, vous êtes devenu plus lucide plus confiant, plus créatif. You have become more compassionate humans, aware of the complexity of your own lives and the lives of others. 
Alors célébrons tout ce que vous êtes, tout ce que vous êtes devenu et tout ce que vous allez devenir. Let us indeed celebrate you, receiving your diplomas, as well as you, human beings, who have the power and the wisdom and the tenacity to build a world of peace and hope and understanding. Thank you. Please be seated. Dear graduates, invité distingué, mesdames et messieurs, félicitations à chacun et chacune de nos nouveaux diplômés en cette magnifique journée de réjouissance. Graduation is a special day for your support networks, your families, loved ones, and friends, as well as the Concordia community and your fellow alumni who have collectively collaborated with you to make this day possible. I am thrilled and honored to share this special milestone with you. La valeur d'une formation universitaire est incontestable. Et en obtenant votre diplôme, vous avez acquis un grand avantage dans notre société. Mais il y a autre chose. The lessons gleaned from your textbooks and professors were just the beginning. Your challenge now is to acquire knowledge on your own, using the education and skills you developed here at Concordia. Thomas Edison made a thousand attempts at inventing the light bulb. When he finally succeeded, a reporter asked him what it felt like to fail a thousand times. Edison replied, I didn't fail a thousand times. The light bulb was an invention with a thousand steps. As someone whose path to success has often required far more than a thousand such steps, I encourage you to adopt a similar perspective as you embark upon this next chapter in your lives. When someone tells you something is impossible, Remember that it probably means it hasn't been done yet, or as I often say, no is maybe on the road to yes. Success is not determined by financial wealth or even the approval of our peers, but rather success is defined by the extent to which we are able to build our communities and help our fellow citizens. As the saying goes, no man is an island and I stand before you today on the shoulders of the many people whose guidance and support have helped me along the way. And I think you can all imagine how much strength is required for someone like me to stand on anyone's shoulders. My point is, while it's true that our backgrounds and circumstances may have influenced who we are, it is essentially, it is equally true that each of us is responsible for who we become. You must continue to be open with outstretched arms and open hands to be willing to receive, but it is imperative that you also be willing to give. Whether financially or through the gift of your knowledge and time, I urge each of you to give back to the university and your community by investing in its future generations of graduates just as previous generations have invested in you. Define your success by the degree to which you positively affect people in your lives. En tant que citoyen averti et engagé, vous, les diplômes, êtes bien placés pour exercer une influence extrêmement bénéfique sur notre monde en évolution constante. Progress and change now lie squarely in your hands. Your generation has sent a strong message to the world regarding the importance of environmental conservation and sustainability. And while there undoubtedly remains much to be done in this regard, the significant reduction in Canadian air pollution over the past five to ten years leaves me hopeful that the future of our country and our world reside in very capable hands. There is no shortage of opportunity to get involved. There is no methodology that cannot be improved and no science, engineering, art, or business that cannot be enhanced by the energy, enthusiasm, and skills you all possess. 
To thrive rather than merely survive, you will have to be adaptable and resilient. You will have to be leaders of change, not followers. Do not be afraid to lead, not only by example, but also by exerting a positive influence on those around you. Remember that if you elevate others, you elevate yourselves. I know that for many of you, this is a period that can be unsettling, given the uncertainty that may lie ahead. You are transitioning from an environment where everyone told you what you should do to an environment where you now have to decide for yourself what you want to do. Without hyperbole, that decision, what you want to do, is among the most important you will ever make, which is why I urge you to look at these next few years as a continuation of your educational journey. Now is the time to truly discover your passions, to ask the right questions, to acquire the knowledge necessary to succeed. Don't just chase the quick paycheck. The money will come. Now, I'm sure many of you are thinking that it's easy for me to stand here and say the money will come, and I'm all too aware of the financial pressures facing so many of you right now. But keep in mind that I started with nothing. My only external resource was the education I received here at Concordia, the same education that you now take with you into the world. Wherever you go, whatever you do, the harvest of knowledge, experience, and values that you have learned and absorbed at Concordia will be as relevant for society as you make it. Be bold, be imaginative, be prepared to fail, to continue to learn and to succeed. Trust me, you can and will make a difference if you follow your passions. When you discover your passion, you will find your life to be an absolute joy. Je vous encourage à rêver, à explorer les choses qui n'existent pas encore, puisque c'est ainsi que vous allez changer le monde et bâtir l'avenir. I am happy that we share a meaningful connection through Concordia, and I hope that today is the beginning of your new lifelong bond with our university and your community. I wish you all good luck, good health, and good fortune. Chapeau. I would like to ask Dr. Alan Shepard to make his remarks. Thank you, Chancellor. Bonjour, bienvenue à toutes et à tous. C'est un grand plaisir d'être parmi vous pour ce bel événement. I'd like to begin this morning by acknowledging that Concordia University and today's ceremony are located on unceded indigenous lands. The Ganyuk Gehaga Nation are recognized as the custodians of the lands and waters on which we gather today. To Jage, or Montreal, is historically known as a gathering place for many First Nations. And today, it is home to a diverse population of indigenous and other peoples. We respect the continued connections with the past, present, and future in our ongoing relationships with indigenous and other peoples within the Montreal community. And that's what today's festivities are all about, celebration of community. To our graduates, all of us at Concordia are extremely proud of you. Your family and friends are proud of you, and you made it. As we celebrate, though, it's important to take stock, to remember that today is also about the bigger picture. Your own education from kindergarten through a university degree, maybe a graduate degree, is also an investment in the greater social fabric, in making our community stronger. Dans mes rencontres avec des diplômés de Concordia, j'entends souvent les histoires du changement positif que leurs expériences universitaires les ont apportées de grands succès, dont ils bénéficient et de la différence que même ils et elles apportent dans le monde. And the world needs you. In the midst of our celebrations, I also want to remember those who are less fortunate than us 
those who do not have the advantages of a university education, those who are affected by war, by poverty, and of course by terrorism and extremism. Education continues to be a powerful antidote to the world's problems. Education builds understanding. Education binds us together. Education makes hope possible. Of course, your own education doesn't stop when you graduate from university, because education is a lifelong process, and increasingly so as the pace of our knowledge society keeps going faster. Concordia has prepared you to make sense of our complex world and to become leaders in it. Felicitations encore, bonne chance et à la prochaine. Mr. Chancellor, it is my honor to present to you Mr. Sebastian Van Berkham. Mr. Van Berkham, investment guru and exemplary Concordian, the child of Dutch immigrants, Mr. Van Berkham came from humble beginnings. Sa famille a immigré au Canada dans les années 50, et il a obtenu un diplôme en commerce de l'Université Sir George Williams en 1969. Monsieur Van Berkham a débuté sa carrière en gestion de placement à la Caisse de retraite de Bell Canada en 1971. Aujourd'hui, les entreprises Van Berkham et Associés et Van Berkham Golden Dragon Limited gèrent un portefeuille de titres internationaux à petite capitalisation d'une valeur de 6 milliards de dollars. He is also a founding director of the Institute for Governance of Private and Public Organizations in Canada. Throughout his career, Mr. Van Berkham has made outstanding contributions to Montreal, Quebec, and Canada. In 2015, he donated $1 million to the Montreal Neurological Institute and Hospital to support research on treatments and cures for Parkinson's and other neurological diseases. That same year, he gave $1 million towards the creation of the Nicolas Steitzman Gilles Julien Chair in Social Pediatrics in the community at the Montreal Children's Hospital. Mr. Van Berkham is also a champion of the arts, donating $500,000 to the Montreal Museum of Fine Arts in 2014 to permanently acquire the sun a glass sculpture by internationally renowned artist, Dale Chihuly. At Concordia, his donations have funded the Van Berkham Chair in Small Cap Equities, the Van Berkham & Associates Bursary, and the John Molson School of Business Small Cap Case Competition. As the academic director of the case competition since the inception in 2011, I have the privilege of witnessing how participating teams from universities across Canada and the United States benefit from this fantastic hands-on experience. This event, a premier case competition, focuses on small cap investment and provides undergraduate and graduate level business students with an opportunity to showcase their ability to analyze financial statements develop strategic recommendations, and apply the academic skills they have gained in the classroom. In late 2014, he donated yet another million dollars to the John Molson School of Business to help establish the Van Berkham Small Cap Investment Management Program, of which I am the founding academic director. The program provides training in small cap stock portfolio management for a select group of eight students, giving them the life-changing opportunity to manage a real portfolio. In tribute to one of Mr. Van Berkham's own great mentors, 
and to help the next generation of investors achieve similar heights. Students who complete the program are named Stephen A. Jaroslawski Fellows. Mr. Chancellor, on behalf of Senate and the Board of Governors, it is my privilege and honor to present to you Mr. Sebastian Van Berkham, so you may confer upon him the degree of Doctor of Laws honoris causa. It is with great pleasure and a great deal of pride that I ask Dr. Van Berkham to address the convocation. First of all, I'd like to thank Rena for a, a, an outstanding introduction uh, to and the tribute that she bestowed on me in terms of all the things I've done uh, for Concordia and for society. But to start, uh, Mr. Chancellor, Mr. Chairman of the Board of Governors, Mr. President and Vice uh, Chancellor, my director, Dennis Chan, from our office in Hong Kong, honored Planford guests, graduating class, family, senior partners of my firm here in Montreal, and friends. As I was traveling back from my trip visiting my Hong Kong office, I was wondering how I would share the major challenges in my life with the graduating class today. I thought that the best way would be to share the key experiences and challenges in my life with you and the focus at the end of my presentation, how some other principles in my life may help you succeed in your future success. As Rena pointed out, um, I'm an immigrant. We came to Canada from the Netherlands in 1952. We started our lives anew from very humble beginnings. We were already a family of five children, and our major challenge was to learn English and in my case, at the age of six and a half, it was also a challenge to uh, enter first grade mid-year, to learn English, and to pass. Needless to say, this turned out to be the first major challenge in my life in Canada, and yes, I succeeded in passing my first grade with a lot of help from my dad. During my high school years, I discovered my entrepreneurial talents of making money. I delivered newspapers, shoveled driveways in the winter, cut neighbors' lawns, worked in the summer camps, local hardware store, as a lifeguard, swim instructor, family as a worker in a chemical factory. My mother always told me that I would be a millionaire one day. Even though I was not a great student during my high school years, the light bulb went on one day and I realized that I needed to get a university education if I was really going to succeed uh, for the rest of my life. So George Williams University, now Concordia, accepted my application. The challenge again was to pay for my, my tuition and to succeed with my degree. After graduation, I was fortunate to begin my investment career at Bell Canada Pension Fund as an investment analyst. Luckily for me, the portfolio manager who I was working with soon quit not so long after my arrival at Bell. The pension fund manager at the time gave me a chance to take his job. The challenge again was to work very hard 
in order to take my boss's job. Again, I was rewarded. At Bell, I learned a lot, and I was able to use my creative talents to make some significant changes to the investment, uh, the management of the equity portfolio. In fact, it was here at Bell where I discovered small cap stock investing. After having implemented the policy of investing in, small, in such stocks, I moved on in my career to become a partner of a small Montreal-based investment management firm to make money for myself. Later, I was approached by Montreal Trust to become a founding partner of Montrusco Associates. Seven years later, I sold my interest in the company to really start my own company, Van Berkham & Associates, or what I like to call today VBA, from scratch, and with the obstacle of a non-compete clause for two years since they gave me a good deal of money for my interest in the company. I was able to begin the, that journey. At first, it was very frustrating to go out and market to potential institutional investors with my small cap product. I had no clients. I was not managing any assets. And I was working under the name of Van Brickham & Associates, VBA. Who ever heard of VBA? Also, I had no track record except for the investment track record that I had built at Mon Montrusco. It was indeed a challenge. Thank heavens that my family was very much behind me. Each quarter, my daughters, my wife, and I would sit down to distribute the quarterly and annualized investment performance of my model portfolio to a mailing list of potential institutional clients across Canada. Finally, after one long, hard year of marketing, McGill University Pension Fund became my first client. Wow. What a reward that was for such hard work and persistence. After gaining such a high profile name as a client, my Canadian small cap product took off like a rocket after having achieved a one year return for McGill of 43%. In seven years after winning McGill, my assets under management grew to one and a half billion. The challenge for such growth was to hire people that could help in all aspects of our business, like office administration, portfolio accounting, and finally hiring senior partners to help me with research and portfolio management. These are aspects of building a business that at my time in university were aspects that were not taught. After building my Canadian operation to a significant level of assets under management, we began to think of the next step for VBA. We decided the next best avenue for growth as a small cap manager was to try to penetrate the U.S. market. Again, what a challenge that was. Who knew VBA in the U.S.? Fortunately, the Caisse de Poe Plasma de Quebec was aware of VBA's success in Canadian small cap investing. As a result, they became our first client for this product in 2000. Today, 60% of VBA's assets under management are invested in U.S. small cap stocks on behalf of major Canadian and U.S. based pension and endowment funds. This success would not have been possible without outstanding employees and partners that we hired over the years to join VBA as partners and who managed to produce consistent first quartile results operating out of our Montreal office. As I mentioned at the beginning of my presentation, I recently came back from Hong Kong to visit Van Birken Gold and Dragon Limited, or VBGD, that I'll, as I like to call it, where one of my former partners of VBA moved to Hong Kong to start our Asian small cap investment management operation, again from scratch. What a challenge that was. We now have a managing partner, two senior analysts, a director who I just mentioned, and I am the chairman and non-resident officer. These steps to build VBA and VBGD are the steps that will lead us one day to become a global small cap investment management manager. This is my long-term dream. I still have dreams. I have tried to briefly share with you, the graduating ch class, the challenges that I faced in my life and career to hopefully let you know how important it is to have a good education. But even more important, how determination and focus on something that you dearly love to do each 
and every day of your life as a job, which becomes your passion and your hobby, this can lead to great success. In order to achieve such success, I found that one cannot do this alone. Without family and friends, without great partners and employees who embrace your philosophy, process, and disciplines in managing a business, it is difficult to succeed. I found in my experience that celebrating ongoing successes with your partners and employees is a way of showing appreciation for a job well done. This also creates a culture within the firm. My motto is work hard, play hard. Christmas parties, beer fests, company golf tournaments, go-karting events, etc., are activities that help us create team building. Let me wish all of the graduating class here today the success that is ahead of you for you to grasp. Thank you very much again for this opportunity to share with you lessons I learned in building VBA and VBGD. And thanks to Concordia for the great distinction that you have bestowed on me today. Merci beaucoup. Dr. Von Berkham, I want to thank you for your inspiring remarks and for showing us the benefits of an outstanding career. The important part is not only the dreaming and the doing it, but the fact that you've given back from your heart, from your pocketbook, and to enrich Concordia and society at large. We thank you, and we hope we learn from your example. Mr. Chancellor, it is my honour to present to you Mr. Kenneth Woods. <laughs> the other way. An outstanding and creative philanthropist, investment expert and community activist. Mr. Woods is a leader in the investment management field with significant experience as a pension plan fiduciary. Ayant amorcé sa carrière par un stage d'avocat à Montréal chez Touche Ross, devenu maintenant Deloitte, il a obtenu un titre de comptable agréé en 1978, puis il quitta la comptabilité publique pour devenir partenaire fondateur de TAL, Gestion Globale d'Actifs. Sous sa direction, TAL est vite devenue l'une des firmes de placement les plus importantes et les plus prospères du Canada. Since retiring from TAL in 1998, Mr. Woods has devoted much of his time and energy to community service, philanthropy, and non-profit work in Vancouver and in Montreal. Through his charitable organization, the Flash Foundation, Mr. Woods supports a wide range of social sectors, including youth, arts and culture, health and education. Mr. Woods previously served as director of the Vancouver General Hospital and the University of British Columbia Foundation, and is past chair of the Children's Arts Umbrella Foundation. Kenneth Woods received his MBA from Concordia in 1975 and is a longtime supporter of higher education. In the year 2000, he helped establish the Kenneth Woods Portfolio Management Program at the John Molson School of Business in honor of the late professor, Calvin C. Potter, a much admired member of the Department of Finance who inspired generations of business students. The program was launched to provide a select group of undergraduate finance students at John Molson with vital hands-on training in portfolio management. As the program's academic director since 2013, I have had the opportunity to witness firsthand the concrete impact of this amazing initiative 
Our students gain invaluable experience working with real portfolio money worth today more than $2.6 million, having grown from the original $1 million donation from Mr. Woods. The 120 alumni of the Kenneth Woods Portfolio Management Program have secured excellent careers in capital markets as equity analysts, investment bankers, and venture capitalists. We find these alumni across Canada, in New York, in Europe, and the rest of the world. I can unequivocally say that Kenneth Woods started something 17 years ago that radically changed the lives of so many of our students for the better. Mr. Chancellor, on behalf of Senate and the Board of Governors, it is my privilege and honor to present to you Mr. Kenneth Woods so that you may confer upon him the degree of Doctor of Laws, honoris causa. It gives me great pleasure to ask Dr. Woods to address the convocation. Mr. Chancellor, Mr. Chairman of the Board of Governors, Mr. President, Vice Chancellor, honored platform guests, graduating class, family, and friends. C'est un honneur pour moi at DC, ça me fait plaisir, and uh, it's really a great honor to receive this uh, honorary degree, and I'm really deeply appreciated of the, uh, the recognition that it represents. It's also um, a delighted to share the honor with my friend Sebastian Van Berkham, who is a friend and investment colleague who has done so much for the university and for the community. Um, a couple of things that um, Rena wouldn't know about me, which isn't really relevant, but it tells you a little bit about me before I really start my speech. Um, when I was, I can remember things that happened a long time ago, but don't ask me uh, where I left my keys this morning. I remember when I was about seven years old, my parents used to go grocery shopping every Saturday, and um, we were not a wealthy family. And I was such a good boy one summer that my mother took me over to the ice cream stand and asked me if I'd like to have <clears throat> an ice cream. And I told her I'd rather have the nickel. The five cents was more important to me than the ice cream. So I think that was kind of something about money management was in my future. Another little story that I remember was when I was 11 years old in grade five, my elementary school teacher wanted to keep the students together for grade six and um, we had to convince the parents had to convince the principal that that was a good thing and so the principal agreed but he said you know and my parents were like grade eight education the principal told them that they shouldn't get their expectations up too high for the students and he would let them do this but uh, he had been a principal of this element large elementary school in the east end of Vancouver for many years and there had not been one student that had ever gone to university, um, male, female, uh, let alone graduating from university. So that was kind of the context of the way it was back then, it was a few years ago. And so it's really an honor for me, and I think that um, my parents and the principal, they're probably not alive right now, but hopefully they're uh, understanding that uh, I did graduate from university and here I am, so that's very good. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd like to congratulate you all. This is a really major milestone in your life. 
And there's, uh, I think, some 500 of you graduating today, and this morning. And uh, you're, you're, it's one of the finest commerce schools in the world. And you're undoubtedly very deserving of your degrees and, and to a certain extent privileged. Uh, we know one thing for sure, you're very smart and smart enough to be successful. However, success in the future will depend on some other things, luck, good fortune, your contacts, and a number of other factors. Last fall, uh, I was fortunate enough to, um, thanks to the program director, uh, Rena Atanasiatis, she got us in to see a legendary investor, Warren Buffett, and he spent uh, time with our 20 some odd students and some students from some other schools and talked to us a little bit about life and about friends and about investments. Um, one of the key messages that he said was that you students are all young enough to adapt yourself to the environment and to maybe learn a little bit about the traits that are important for success that are of a non-academic nature. And it was a really interesting thing. He said that if you look at the five or so people uh, in your cohort group and pick the one person that you think is going to be truly successful and identify the three or four traits that, make, that made you pick them and see if you have those traits. And if you don't, what do you have to do to attain them? And so that got me thinking. It was a cute way of saying that there are many more important factors to success. Now, I didn't do that uh, consciously, but I realized that there were some limitations. And so I looked to partner with people that had some of those traits. So I've identified five traits. These are my own. It's not a scientific study. Um, but I hope you'll find them interesting. The first trait to success is attitude. Having a positive attitude can lead to positive results. Some people see roadblocks, other people see opportunity. The difference between adversity and adventure is attitude. Number two, determination. There will be a lot of people that will tell you that it can't be done. Sometimes they might even be right, but you should keep trying. You'll probably fail a lot, but at one point you will succeed. And that success, like Mr. Edison, will be built upon all those lessons that you learned from failure. Item number three, perspiration. Now the Chancellor, um, it's a very rare thing, but he mentioned something about Thomas Edison. And my mother used to quote to me something from Thomas Edison. Oh, and by the way, you should always listen to your mother. <laughs> but he was famous for saying that genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. And I think that's true. So be inspired but work hard. It's also not how hard, how long you work, but how smart you work. It's important. And if you enjoy what you're doing, as obviously Sebastian does, it won't seem like work. And in fact, you will have a great sense of, of accomplishment and achievement and satisfaction. Uh, number four, temperament. Uh, things don't always go the way that you expect them to be. And uh, from an investment point of view, some people think that the difference between a good investor and a great investor is temperament. And I'm going to just paraphrase uh, Mr. Warren Buffett again. And he said that uh, his investment style, to a certain extent, is be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful. Number five, integrity. It takes a lifetime to build a reputation, but only a short time to destroy it. So try always to do what's right. 
Now you know that I was fortunate enough to have Dr. Potter, Professor Potter, as my mentor and professor here at uh, Concordia University, and he helped change my career path, and I'm forever indebted to his teachings and for that um, yeah, advice that he gave me. And I'll never forget one of his teachings was his definition of what constitutes a good financial transaction. And that is that uh, both parties are better off after the transaction than they were before. So in all your dealings, you should be honest and fair. And you'll see that the business comes back to you. Uh, my success has, to a certain extent, been the result of those attributes and associating with others that had the skills that I didn't possess. You should choose your friends and your associates wisely because uh, they will have an influence on you and if, and if, you know, you'll probably adopt some of their habits and hopefully they'll be good habits. So it's very important to have uh, good friends and, and very good associates. I, I would never have been as successful in my career without the expertise of my three original partners. Nor would the Kenneth Woods Portfolio Management Program been as successful without the leadership of the two program directors. And it's so special for me to have Professor Abraham Brote here, who was the original program director for 12 years, and then uh, current program director, Rina Atanasiadis here to uh, introduce me and gown me. It's a very special honor. But the program wouldn't have been successful without their leadership and hard work. Nor would it have been successful without the client committee participation and the mentors. And the uh, wonderful support of the university from the president to the dean to the alumni department office and all uh, the other people that have been involved in the program over the last uh, 17 or 18 years. One final thought, along the way, do remember how fortunate you are. Try to help the world make a better place. You know, I often think uh, what my life would have been if I had bo been born somewhere else. And, you know, we're so fortunate to be able to uh, be in Canada and uh, to attend this wonderful university. And if you get to my age and uh, you don't have any friends and people don't think very highly of you. I mean, everybody has a lot of friends, but I'm talking about true friends. And just to diverse, there was a study that was done, and don't ask me where it was, but they said that a couple of decades ago, the average person had four really good friends, and today it's down to 1.8. And these, you know, social media is helping, but we're talking about true friends. And so uh, in my sort of personal life scorecard, if you at my age don't have any true friends and people don't think very highly of you and maybe you haven't done very much for the world or the community, then, you know, I don't know what your balance sheet looks like, but I really question, you know, whether you've been a success. So there are other things to think about. Um, there are a couple of people that I've met. One lady yesterday was talking about taking in a couple of foster children. I have a friend in Vancouver who adopted a young um, Asian child, had some medical problems, and she was able to bring him to Vancouver and take care of his medical problems, and now he's enrolled in a, a private elementary school. And right now we have two students from our program that are on the way to Africa, to Ghana, to teach uh, 30 orphans um, entrepreneurial studies. So a lot of people are giving back, even today at your young age, we find a way. And so um, I really think that, you know, you should give while you live, and give of your time, and at, at one point maybe give of your money. And if you do it early, you'll have the time, such as I have, to see the results and, and to really enjoy the results. So in closing, permit me to um, talk a little bit about opportunities. The world today, we have 7.4 billion people on this planet. And if we don't have a pandemic or, or a significant world war, 
The forecast is there will be 10 billion people by the year 2050. When you think about it, that's a massive increase in the number of people that will be on this planet in a very, very short period of time. And it's going to cause uh, some issues. But for you, it's going to be you know, tremendous opportunity. Uh, we have uh, demographics, you know, the aging population, my baby boom generation. Um, there's going to be a huge transition in the developed countries, China, Japan, um, Europe, the United States and Canada. Those will create healthcare issues for sure, but tremendous opportunities. In addition to that, you have artificial intelligence and we're going to have uh, uh, driverless cars and trucks and maybe even buses and who knows what else. Robotics. You know, the, the forecast is that robotics will be replacing workers and the workforce while the population is booming, the workforce will actually decline. So the opportunities that these give you uh, are multiple and you have the tools for success. So it's an amazing time to be alive and uh, we're expecting you to take advantage of these opportunities. So congratulations, uh, be successful. Be happy, be passionate, work hard. I hope you uh, have an opportunity to give back to society, give back to Concordia. And for many, many years, I really hope you have many, 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 much more than 1.8 good friends, because that's important. <laughs> so congratulations and good luck to you all. Dr. Woods, thank you so much for your wise words, your strong message, and for giving back to Concordia to such a great extent. I, we did share Dr. Potter, uh, Porter, I should say, and um, there is one other professor at Concordia who I think uh, gave us all a message that's an extremely important one that Dr. Woods addressed in his remarks. And he said, Machines depreciate, people appreciate, invest in people. And that's what I hope your employers will do with you in the years ahead and that you will do with your employees in the years following. It's probably the most important part and it's a thread that's actually followed through with Dr. Von Berkham and Dr. Wood's comments here today. So I thank you very, very much. I'd like to ask the Provost to join us at the podium. Mr. Chancellor, on behalf of Senate, I present to you the candidates for the Master and Magisteriate degrees and for the Graduate Diplomas and Certificates in the John Molson School of Business. I certify that these candidates have fulfilled the requirements for these degrees, diplomas, and certificates. Monsieur le Chancelier, au nom du Sénat, je vous présente les candidats à la maîtrise ainsi qu'au diplôme et au certificat de deuxième cycle de l'école de gestion John Monson. J'atteste qu'ils satisfont aux exigences de ces grades, diplôme, a certificate. Will the Master and Magisteriate Diploma and Certificate candidates please stand? By the powers granted in the University Charter, I admit each of you to the appropriate degree, diploma, or certificate as approved by Senate and certified by the Provost. En vertu de l'autorité que m'a confère la Charte de l'Université et for de l'approbation du Sénat et de l'attestation de vice-rectorat exécutif 
aux affaires académiques, je vous décerne les grades, diplômes ou certificats que vous postulez. Please be seated. Mr. Chancellor, on behalf of Senate, I present to you the candidates for the bachelor and baccalaureate degrees and for the undergraduate certificates in the John Molson School of Business. I certify that these candidates have fulfilled the requirements for these degrees. Monsieur le Chancelier, au nom du Sénat, je vous présente les candidats et candidates au baccalauréat ainsi qu'au certificat de premier cycle de l'école de gestion John Monson. J'atteste qu'ils satisfont aux exigences de ces grades. Will the bachelor and baccalaureate and undergraduate certificate candidates please stand? By the powers granted in the University Charter, I admit each of you to the appropriate degree as approved by Senate and certified by the Provost. En vertu de l'autorité que me confère la Charte de l'Université et for de l'approbation du Sénat et de l'attestation de vice-rectorat exécutif aux affaires académiques, je vous décerne les grades que vous postulez. Please be seated. And while our graduates prepare to cross the stage, I invite you to enjoy the music of the Encore Brass Quintet. Thank you. pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Master of Magisteriate in Business Administration. Michael Boutros. Michael Boutros. <laughs> Andrew Buck. Emily Chakra. Galbo Chen. Chen. John, 
John Christou. Donald Corkum. Donald Corkum. Michael Coughlin. Arma Kuk. Paul Dawson. Paul Dawson. Maria De Niro. Zhui <laughs> Wei Feng. <laughs> Joseph Fars. Tristan Flanagan. Tristan Flanagan. Mark Gallardo. <laughs> Zoe Glassberg. <laughs> William Ryan Grant. Li Shen Gu. Aniruddha Gupti. Darin Haddad. Darin Haddad. Tahu Jiang Hu Wei Huang Yuna Huang. Kate Inkpen. Mashada Kamal. Stas Hanotan. Alexandra Kravchenko. Uh, Huilin Lee. Huilin Lee. Shirley. Shirley. Cynthia LaCursey. Jeffrey Lindell, winner of the Quadra Chemicals MBA medal, donated by Quadra Chemicals Limited and awarded to the highest ranking student graduating with the degree of Master of Magisteriate in Business Administration. Hui Tong Liu. Ali Arif Malik. Trevor Nemeth. Trevor Nemeth. Miguel Ortega. 
Miguel Ortega. Vinay Paramanand. Pierre Luc Pola. Diego Ramos. Jean Vierre Redstone. Jeffrey Roberts. Oscar Galindo. Claudia Rush. El Martaz Shaki. Kevin Shelton. Kevin Shelton. Shin Shu. Shin Yu Shu. David Silva Cabral. David Silva Cabral. Ivana Sime. Jonathan Supovici Desi. Jonathan Supovici Desi. Neha Tali. Wenny Tang. Siwan Tang. Daniel Tinoka Silva. Charles Alexandre Renat. Caroline Venn. Omar Wide. Omar Wide. Choshin Shu. Yao Shu. Yao Shu. Dasho Yan. Dasho Yan. Su Yan Yao. Su Yan Yao. Yang. Chao Chang. I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Bachelor of Baccalaureate in Administration. Stephanie Badra. Raymond Baptiste. Mariana Botero. Mariana Botero. Melanie Boutin. Melanie Boutin. Eva Dadamo. Danuta. 
Tanvir Danuta. Nick Dillingham Blay. Nick Dillingham Blay. Dimos Dimu. Dimos Dimu. Guillaume Dragon. Guillaume Dragon. Angela Durant. Danny Aridi. Danny El Aridi. Yasmin Fahmi. Yasmin Fahmi. Louis Kevin van Kamchuka. Louis Kevin van Kamchuka. Brandon Gallant. Brandon Gallant. Heidi Gaffari. Marianne Hazori. Alexander Enoch. Alexander Enoch. Iman Higaz, a with distinction winner of the Ingresion Medal, awarded to the highest ranking student graduating with the degree of Bachelor of Baccalaureate in Administration. I graduated very high too. Aaron John. Aaron John. Sorida Kong. Laurent Lapointe Simard. Laurent Lapointe Simard. Michael McDonald. Michael McDonald. Alice Nigogosian. Alice Nigogosian. Hiba Ulias. Alexander Pandeli. Alexander Pandeli. Nicholas Pinos. Nicholas Pinos. Christina Nicole Pivnitsky. Christina Nicole Pivnitsky. Antonio Placido. Antonio Placido. Franco Semeraro. Franco Semeraro. Lai Tang. Lai Tang. Lydia Trusevich. Lydia Trusevich. Mitchell Van Gameren. Mitchell Van Gameren. Jan Vey. Jan Vey. Danny Yao. Danny Yao. Chris Kami Yilan. Chris Kami Yilan. I'm pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Bachelor of Baccalaureate in Commerce from the following departments, Economics, Finance. Christopher Butz. Carla Puel with distinction. Karim Zniber. Leila Bouchichi. 
ليلى أبو جرجي سما أبو جرجي جابر أفانا شكيب أفغان زادا جون أكراس جون أكراس إلي أكوري قيس ألامي قيس ألامي Simon Albert. Hikmat Al Saket. Hikmat Al Saket. Sina Amir Aslani. Sina Amir Aslani. Derek Andrews. Derek Andrews with distinction. Nicolas Angé. Ali Anwar. Ali Anwar. Kevin Atiye. Kevin Atiye. Alexandra Atara. Miriam Azzi. Ahmed Ba. Ahmed Ba with distinction. Adam Obadjo. Adam Obadjo. Salar Bak. Caroline Marie Ballard. Caroline Marie Ballard with distinction. Tanya Balukas. Tanya Balukas. Kate Barkon with distinction. Gianluca Barreca. Yasmin Belkadi. Yasmin Belkadi. Maisa Belhaj. Maisa Belhaj. Majda Bendelul. Sarah Bensouda. Christophe Bessé. Christophe Bessé. Andrew Michael Burgofini. Andrew Michael Burgofini with distinction. Sonia Boutej. Sean Brathwaite. Etienne Brun. Marc-Antoine Brunet. Marc-Antoine Brunet. Scott Burstow. Trevor Bush. Trevor Bush. 
Lorenzo Cancian Cavalunas. Lorenzo Cancian Cavalunas. Kevin Carelli. Carlo Cefaloni. Carlo Cefaloni. Chloe Cefarati. Shing Hei Chai. Avi Chazen. Avi Chazen. Jean Louis Chen. Jean Louis Chen with distinction. Jian Ji Chen. Lei Zhen Chen. Si Yuan Chen. Si Yuan Chen. Su Hui Chen. Su Hui Chen. Yashin Chen. Yang Kong Chen. Estelle Shidiak. Anthony Chow with distinction. Stephen Chow. Stephen Chow. Rafael Kowalier. Mihaela Condrea. Nicholas Corbeau. Nicholas Corbeau. Maria Credo. Elizabeth Dansero with distinction. Roberto De Martinez. Roberto De Martinez. Etienne Deutsch. Etienne Deutsch. Diane Di Fabrizio. Amanda Di Franco. Alfredo Di Massimo. Alfredo Di Massimo. Cassandra Di Palma. Brandon Dorado. Sao Du with distinction. Russia Elbe. Russia Elbe. Randa El Mashtub Aaron. Randa El Mashtub Aaron. David Evans. Alessio Fabri. Alessio Fabri. Manuel Fabius. Manuel Fabius. Jun Yin Fan. Jun Yin Fan. Ming Yuan Fan. Gabriel. Gabriel Fangor. Gianmarco Ferri. 
Gianmarco Ferri. Gabriel Fong. Gabriel Fong. Guillaume Fortier. Guillaume Fortier with distinction. Chloe Fortin. Adam Freed. Adam Freed. Chris Gandhi. Chris Gandhi. Olivier Gobe. Olivier Gobe. Edie Gang. Elissa Gentile. Matthew Galley. Matthew Galley with distinction. Leia Gazarian. Leia Gazarian. Joseph Gunaim. Joseph Gunaim. Vanessa Giangaspero. Panayota Gianone. Panayota Gianone. Patrick Joe. Patrick Joe. Ryan Gold. Ryan Gold. Jonathan Grandbois. Jonathan Grambois with distinction. Alexandra Gravelin with distinction. Melissa Greco. Melissa Greco. Lawrence Greenberg. Lawrence Greenberg. Uh, Jacob Brush. Jacob Grosh. Zhao Shong Gu. Danny Guillaume Delian. Danny Guillaume Delian. Joshua German. Reem Habiballah. Hamed Hader. Hamed Hader. Amr Hanafi. Michel Ardi. Mira Bubati. Mekki Hilali with distinction. Mustafa Hubballah. Mustafa Hubballah. Sheikh Mazmul Haq. Sheikh Mazmul Haq. Samantha Rivnak. Chaming Huang. Chaming Huang. Xun Huang. Xun Huang. Yue Ping Huang. Yue Ping Huang. Yu Shi Huang. Zian Huang. Shanika Indaranatan. Shanika Indaranatan. Anit Zian. 
Anik Islam. Kyle Ives. Kyle Ives. Peter Jansons. Danny Kang. Danny. Danny Kang. Jat Kazan. Jat Kazan. Meta Kantavong. Meta Kantavong. Kamil Katabi. Luciano Kuri. Luciano Kuri. Mark Kilajan. Mark Kilajan. <laughs> Stephanie Kowalu. Adam Krasner. Ram Kumar with distinction. Michael Korlowitz. Michael Korlowitz. Olivier Laforge with distinction. Videsh Nikolai Lalchan. Vikash Dimitri Lalchan. Vikash Dimitri Lalchan. Andrew Lalonde. Andrew Lalonde. Zoe Lambrolias. Zoe Lambrolias. Omar Lafif. Eduardo Velasco with distinction. Camilo Enrique Lara Menendez. Camilo Enrique Lara Menendez. Tracy Ann Lavigne. Emily Lawrence with distinction. Philippe Lazur. Philippe Lazur. Victor Leblanc. Victor Leblanc. Stephanie Lee. Stephanie Lee. Vincent Lazar. Vincent Lassar with distinction. Chang Li. Chang Li with distinction. Seal Yang. Maxim Libai. Maxim Libai with distinction. Chang Liu with distinction. Lucy Liu. Lucy Liu. Xingbo Liu. Xingbo Liu with distinction. Zero Liu. Song Qi Liu. Zong Jin Liu. Stephen Lowe. Stephen Lowe with distinction. Elena Lobachev Center. Elena Lobachev Saint Pierre. Danin Lucerini. Danin Lucerini. Paul Maffei. 
Paul Maffei. Patrick Menolfi. Patrick Menolfi with distinction. Sandra Makar with distinction. Alexandria McKean. Alexandria McKean. Chris Malouf. Christopher Malouf with distinction. Christian Mancharola. Christian Mancharola. Vincent Marks. Anthony Massarelli. Anthony Massarelli with distinction. Nicholas Matt. Nicholas Matt with distinction. Joshua Mazafer. Joshua Mazafero. Yasmin Mikalash with great distinction. Bowen Meng. Sarah Merali. Ryan Meredith. Jessica McCauley. Jessica McCauley. Sterling Mintz. Sterling Mintz. Michael Moreno. Michael Morena. J.C. Motingi. Omar Murad. Omar Murad with distinction. Silva Moralian. Silva Moralian. Ahmed Mustafa. Ahmed Mustafa with distinction. Musa Musullu. Jessica Mir. Jessica Mir. Kevin Dizihua. Kevin and Dizihua. Huang Tian Hong Nguyen. Huang Tian Hong Nguyen. Paul Nguyen. Philip Nguyen. Philip Nguyen. Cecile, Cecile Marie Pascal Nkoa Nimbo. Steve Wanoon. Steve Wanoon with distinction. Doris Wagnin. Carl Philip Wime. Carl Philip Wime. Sarah Owen. Sarah Owen with distinction. Vito Paliuka. Vito Paliuka. Chifan Pan. Jasmine Panu. Jasmine Panu. Pierre-Marc Paré. Pierre-Marc Paré with distinction. Charles Benoit Parent. Charles Benoit Parent.
Jigna Patel. Ritesh Patel. Tifana Polraja. Catherine Pereira. Justine Perez. Justine Perez. Ariana Petosa with distinction. Joseph Piazza. Joseph Piazza. Ralph Pierre Louis. <laughs> Frederic Pigeon Dubois. <laughs> Alessandra Pizzucco. Jeremy Poirier Pratt. Jeremy Poirier Pratt. Ahmed Ramez Popal. Rad Popovich. Jasmine Prince. I'm pleased to continue to introduce to you the candidates for the Bachelor of Baccalaureate in Commerce from the following department, Finance. Salman Rahim. Salman Rahim. Kunal, Kunal Himant Ramchan. Edgar Riplov. Edgar Riplov. Hans Viraf Rishad, which distinction? Julian Richardson. Julian Richardson. Marina Agustina. Marina Rodriguez Agustino. Olivia Rodriguez Facina. Olivia Rodriguez Facina. Matteo Rossi, with distinction. Deandra Rossi Tomasino. Vanessa Rush. Benjamin Saltier. Benjamin Saltier. Nicholas Samuel. So, Nicholas Samaluk. Nicholas Samaluk. Ao Shen. Ao Shen. Shi. Hansen Shi. Yilin Shi. Yilin Shi. Nicholas Himmel. Nicolas Sermov. Hugo Salas. Sorry, Hugo Salas. Hugo Salas. David Spezia. David Sapezio. Artyom Spini. Artyom Spino. Philip Sudano. Philip Sudano. James Sukos. Tusiantan Sundaram. Tusiantan Sundaram. Joel Sueka. Joel Sueka. Jane Town. 
Jane Tam. Saifullah Tariq. Amin Tazi, with distinction. Aurelien Tabul. Michael Toby, with distinction. Jonathan Tolliver. Jonathan Tolliver. Alexandros Tolomenides. Kunluan Tran. Sabrina Valenti. Girate Valikonite. Dalsha Ventekumaran with distinction. Carlos Velasquez. Carlos Velasquez with great distinction, winner of the Finance Medal. Awarded to the most outstanding graduating student in finance. Lachan Velopla. Lachan Velopla. Dan Koivo. Dan Koivo. And Wong. And Wong, with distinction. Chi Wang. Yong Shin Wei. Colleen Williamson. Mark Wasnitzer. Changshu. Fei Shu. Jackie Shu. Jackie Shu. Sami Yakub. Sami Yakub. Shinny Yan. Hadi Yagvek. Li Wei Ye. Li Wei Ye. Rabat Zantut. Xiang Zheng. Wen Nia Zheng. Ming Min Zhu. I'm pleased to continue to introduce to you the candidates for the Bachelor of Baccalaureate in Commerce from the following departments. Management, Supply Chain, and Business Technology Management. Sabira Abdullah. Tanya Abi Azar. Tanya Abi Azar. Cedric Hakim Ashile Louis. Zaid 
زید المحشن لورین بلانکا مونیز Thomas Boshe with distinction. Lawrence Besazo with distinction. Christian Bendesu Carillo. Joanna Blizzos. Dharminder Singh Boli Beatrice Bouchard Mackenzie Braslov Blanchet Yosef Batera Kimberly Birds with distinction. Elizabeth Canelo. We Kang Chan. Aliyah Sharif Mashishi. Brittany Shinidius Stacy Cohen Grace Contrini Alexandra Correa Casarina Correa Rafael Cotepara Claudia Cotinos de Sama Christopher Defoe Angelica De Cristo with distinction Lucia Cristina De Salfani Catherine Doel with distinction Mary Maxim Gelinas de Lis. Jacob Goloff. Alexander Gay, with distinction, winner of the Management Medal, awarded to the most outstanding graduating student in management, winner of the Commerce Medal, awarded to the highest ranking student graduating with the degree of Bachelor of Baccalaureate in Commerce. Carl Giragosian. Carl Giragosian. Carl Giragosian. Helen Harbelas. Helen Harbelas. Gregory Shivers-Harris. Gregory Shivers-Harris. Rachel Hubbard, Aya Huri, Sandra Hudson, Olivia Jastrzewski. Nazi Joseph Khoury with distinction. Huh. 
Anulia Kolseva. Alexandra Kranzberg. Valerie Crook, with distinction. Sean Kyle. Sean Kyle. Yunus Lalu. Dane Lehi. Dane Lehi. Jay Lee. Jay Lee. Andrew Lickop. Andrew Lickop. Michelle Luo. James Mann. James Mann. Etienne Marcou. Mohamed Maksud. Etienne Marcou. Caitlin Marriott. Sabrina Martin. Sabrina Martin. Matthew Mello. Matthew Mello. Christine Menendez. Christine Menendez. Miranda Mezapele. Afira Mirza. Avisa Moseni Mogadam. Katerina Monastri Arcos. Stephanie Moore Yusuf. Joey Musamachi. Rana Naim. Christina Olaskiewicz. Judy Apong with distinction. Alicia Pericelli. Trusha Patel. Melissa Payet. David Rania. Laura Reed. Caroline Ross. Caroline Ross. Sylvian Rosso. Michelle Siegel. Chad Sasuin. Mehdi Shagagi. Mehdi Shagagi. Connor Sims. Connor Sims. Alexandra Stan. Dana Mira Suheli. Dana Mira Suheli.
Pia Alexander Tashi. Irene Tardros. Diemi Tran. Michelle Zamek. Clara Zamatero, with distinction. Jingyi Zhu. Bilal Alanahas. Daniel Amato. Daniel Amato. France Narcisse Anassius. France Narcisse Anassius. Ephraim Belieu. Ephraim Belieu. Laurence Batra, with great distinction, winner of the Supply Chain and Business Technology Management Medal, awarded to the most outstanding graduating student in Supply Chain and Business Technology Management. Michael Blakely. Eric Bolton. Eric Bolton. Shane Bougie, with distinction. Camellia Burali. Camellia Burali, with distinction. Fong Yi Chao. Brian Sharon, with distinction. Alexander Coltier. Vincent Labrec. Vincent Labrec with distinction. Samantha Cucinello with distinction. Jean Dukakis. Nikita Darenani. Shafina Darenani. Shafina Darenani. Jose Manuel Del Valle. Michael Di Rocco. Michael Di Rocco. Jonathan Dibberg, with distinction. Andre Inuta. Andre Inuta. Samia Iradi. Matthias Fontecilla. Bairi Fori. Ying Hui Gao. Yulia Garifolina. Clara Mariam Janadri. Stephanie Ginozo with distinction. Catherine Guvia. Jingyi Gu.
Lara Harbashian. Bashar Haider. Bashar Haider. Marcus Ya Francesco. Marcus Ya Francesco. Marcus Efrachensko. May Ibrahim. May Ibrahim. Malcon Iskandrian. Malcon Iskandrian. Zentong Jiang. Martina Sirkus. Martinez Yurkus with distinction. Manisha Kalsi. Sam Kennedy. Samuel Kennedy. Abhiraj Katwani. Michael Cawley. Pamela Larouche. Pamela Larouche. Shasha Lee. Sitong Lee. Ren Liang. Jian Yang Liu. Jian Yang Liu. Shuo Liu. Lan Lu. And Felicia Lucen. Blake Love. Blake Love with distinction. Chianwen Ma. Jude Mandina. Fadia Makul. Harvey Manzi. 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 Danny Mashotra. Rosalind Ann Massey. Colin McTavish. Colin McTavish. Doina Mihailov. Nixon Nagamoto. Nixon Nagamoto. Nixon Nagamoto. Christopher Nikilo. Maritza Olivieri. Maritza Olivieri. Sanji Pan. Sanji Pan. Sanji Pan. John Petrie. John Petrie. John Petrie. Dung Khan Dui Pham. Rafael Kipoki. Rafael Prokopi. Daniel Rosaini. Daniel Rosaini. Ahmed Saleh. Ahmed Saleh.
Samia Salhani with distinction. Go who is she? Chang Da Sun. Sarah Ten. Andrew Temenakis. Mingyi Wang. Eileen Wang. Terence Wong. Jeffrey Wong Wakey. Jeffrey Wong Wakey. Meng Shu Wu. Karina Yan. Man Fei Yao. Jen Jen Zhang. Ying Zhao. I would now like to ask Ryan Meredith to give the valedictory address. Chancelier Wiener, Président du Conseil de Gouverneur Hébert, Président et Vice-Chancelier Shepard, Dr. Van Burkham, Dr. Woods, participants et invités distingués, Chères familles, amis, finissantes et finissants, mon nom est Ryan Meredith et c'est avec beaucoup de plaisir que je vous adresse la parole aujourd'hui en tant que représentant de la cohorte de 2017 de l'une des meilleures écoles de gestion au monde, John Molson. I remember my first day walking out of JMSB after attending COM210 and COM212 lectures, thinking that my future success would depend on how well I can memorize Porter's five forces <laughs> and how effective I would become at mastering a firm handshake. Don't get me wrong, these are two important skills that every businesswoman and businessman should acquire. However, I soon realized there was so much more that JMSB would teach us about the business world. It is only when I look back now that I realize just how much. Today is a day for us to reflect on our many accomplishments and to be proud of what we have become. We applied to JMSB because, because of its reputation as a world-class business school. We believe that the education we received here would give us the tools to succeed in the real world. Here we are today, graduates of Concordia's JMSB. We did it. Today is also a time for us to recognize 
and thank our family, friends, professors, colleagues, Investopedia, and mentors who have guided us along the way. Without their tireless support, we would not be where we are today. On behalf of the entire class of 2017, thank you. Although we are all graduates of the 2017 class, we have lived different experiences and we all cherish different memories. The co-op program gave some of us the opportunity to bridge the gap between the classroom and the corporate world. Stages allowed us to gain practical experience beyond the scope of theory. Some of us broadened our horizons by participating in the student exchange program, allowing us to experience different cultures and traditions. As well, participation on various Stinger sports teams, associations, and committees developed a strong sense of community and school pride. This year, JMSB continued to dominate on the world stage. More precisely, we sent over 150 delegates to compete at case competitions across the globe and podium a total of 43 times. A select group of students managed a real portfolio of $2.6 million as part of the Kenneth Woods Portfolio Management Program and made the trip to Omaha to meet with tycoon investor Warren Buffett. JMSB continued to focus on its many philanthropic initiatives. Notably, despite the snowstorm in mid-March that virtually paralyzed the city and reinforced Concordia to shut down for the day, our students maintain their commitment to sleep outside for five nights, raising both money and awareness for the homeless as part of a nationwide campaign. This is but one example symbolizing the drive, devotion, and passion of the JMSB community. Indeed, JMSB really is hot to go. Today, as we celebrate, we realize that success isn't measured by the grade you got on that COM 305 exam that didn't get curved, <laughs> or by the rover that I know you can't afford. Success is about the obstacles you have encountered throughout the journey. It's about the struggle, the late nights you spent trying to stay awake, studying in the Webster Library, drinking the venti skinny, two-pump vanilla latte from Starbucks, that you were trying to hide from the hardworking staff so they wouldn't kick you out. Success is about wanting to succeed as badly as you want to breathe. It's about the courage you built up to beat the overwhelming odds. Simply put, as JMSB's case competition coach, Mark Haber, would say, it's all about the process. We are now part of that elite group of JMSB graduates. With this title comes responsibility. We have been equipped with the tools and critical thinking strategies in order to confidently become the business leaders of tomorrow. It is our duty to apply these skills, to challenge the status quo, and to commit to lifelong learning and development as both professionals and humanitarians. Take risks, push boundaries, Embrace the journey. Embrace failure. It builds fearlessness. It builds hard workers. It builds us to our full potential. We are surely not the same men and women we were when we began our studies at JMSB. We are privileged to have studied at the state-of-the-art facilities in the downtown campus known as the John Molson School of Business. It is there that we have forged friendships expanded our LinkedIn networks, and developed our business skills. JMSB has taught us not only to chase our dreams, but to realize that the impossible is possible, and that we are all unique and capable of reaching new heights. 
As Leonardo da Vinci once said, it has long since come to my attention that people of accomplishment rarely sat back and let things happen to them. They went out and happened to things. So as you step outside of Place des Halles today, with your diploma in your hand, prepare to embark on a new and exciting chapter of your life. Take a moment, look up at the sky and wonder how high is high. Then go and find out. Félicitations et bonne chance, grads. Ryan, it's nice to see somebody with low energy. <laughs> you know, those motivational remarks uh, touch everyone, and I want to thank you. I think you've made us all very proud today to be graduates of JMSB. Thank you. Well, before I give the uh, podium to the provost to give his closing remarks, I'd like to have a little bit of closure with you and wish you all well in your journey. And may you all grow from strength to strength. And may the force be with you. Alors, euh, mesdames, messieurs, merci euh, d'être venus en si grand nombre aujourd'hui, euh, de partager avec nous la joie de nos diplômés. Thank you all for being here to celebrate the terrific successes of the class of 2017. Now, graduates, I know you're all uh, excited and patient to get on with the next great phase of your lives, hot to go, as uh, Ryan said. But before you walk out of this hall today, I'd like you just to pause for a moment and think about the people who've helped you to get here. Um, you know who they are. Some of them are faculty and staff sitting up uh, on stage here today. Uh, some of them are your, your classmates uh, sitting with you uh, in, uh, here in Place des Arts. But there's uh, another group that I'd like you to think about and recognize for a moment. So, could I ask the graduating class of JMSB in 2017 to stand up, turn around, and thank all the family and friends who've supported you on this journey here. So graduates, graduates, I have just one last message before, before you part, and that is that uh, Concordia is a great university. In fact, we're the top university under 50 years of age in Canada, and we have the promise of an even greater future ahead of us. And today, there is no better measure or embodiment of our accomplishments or our promise than you, the graduating class of 2017. Thank you for having chosen Concordia as the pathway to your future, to your success. You've honored us with your choice, and in the future, you will always be our best ambassadors. You should know that we're tremendously proud of you. We hope that you will always take pride in Concordia. And as this ceremony comes to a close, Please allow us to toast your success with a vent d'honneur in the lobby outside. 
Merci, félicitations, au revoir, à bientôt.